for about about 46 or seven years, he was all wheels and no brakes. You know, just you know, bought bought a lot of interesting items to do with uh, many with Lincoln and the Civil War and the assassination of Lincoln. Two or three catalogs a week. Everything was published in a catalog, and and uh, you know, when the catalogs would come in, all work would stop, and he'd start looking through the catalogs, and that might take 30 minutes or an hour and a half, and then if he saw something he liked, he'd go to the phone and order it, and hopefully you were first and not last. And uh, so, you know, that's the way he put the collection together. The diary that, uh, that James O'Byrne carried with him during the pursuit, and he's got all of his notes in there. It's about 15 pages of notes about the pursuit and tracking them down. Of John Wilkes Booth. Uh, of John Wilkes Booth. And, uh, and he didn't maybe get all the, uh, maybe all the notoriety that he deserved because from his information, they sent Doitry down from Washington, D.C., who actually caught and apprehended Booth and Harold. Uh, this is a real unusual item. This is a little lead token that's taken from the lining. Uh, I think 1901, yeah, it was the last time that they uh, moved Lincoln's body, and that's when Robert Lincoln had it embalmed and like, I should say buried in 12 feet of concrete. So, so this was cut from that, and this is stamped. And there's very few of these in existence. It's a real unusual medallion made from that lead shield. And uh, of course, this is a pass to go to the White House to to see, uh, you know, for the funeral at the White House. And on the 19th of April. And uh, this this right here is a fantastic item. I've read this whole letter, and it's E. Martin Jones, and it's just his way of writing and, and describing the assassination of Lincoln. And it's just like you were absolutely sitting there at Ford's Theater. It's the most incredible letter that was possibly ever written about the assassination. So when I've, I've read it two or three times. It still makes the hair stand up on the back of my neck. When I... You know, I guess uh, poss possibly the little scrap of paper that we have that's, you know, I will not get, you know, not surrender this game until I play my last available card. That would probably be one of the top lots. And of course, the John Wilkes Booth signatures are, are I, I guess, I hate to say rare, but probably rare. You know, today they'd be, it's one of the most scarce, scarce signatures in America. Somebody holding somebody's uh, autograph, such as Abraham Lincoln's, only holding their autograph in your hand, that's as close as you can come to shaking their hand, is having their autograph. So, so there's a lot of thrill and excitement in, in owning this material.